That big heavy package is something we're going to be using to keep our cow looking beautiful, working beautiful, producing. Let's talk about minerals and mineral feeders in today's video. Huh? Hi girls. Thanks for bringing the flies over. Nosy cow. It has instructions over here. On the tag. Alright, alright. Alright, back. Back. Come on. Back. Go to beef. Not eat plastic. See what you've done? Fun fact, some assembly required. We don't do that out in the hot sun. It's been unseasonably warm this week. Like, okay, we'll say it's not unseasonably, but it's been hotter than it's been like all season. How did you know I would say that? And uh, I'm just getting tired of it. I want it to start to feel like fall. I'm ready for fall. So we're gonna put this Bellin Country Nagerie Row 3 together here in the barn where the sun is not beating down. I am sweating profusely, but I'm not sure what the deal is here. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not thrilled with this. There's no hole here. I'm supposed to punch a nut and a bolt through that. The instructions don't say to drill a hole, but I don't know what happened. So I gotta go find a drill, some sockets, I'll be back. A monologue. Minerals are another important part of your cow's nutrition. Back in Connecticut had been setting their minerals out in a kind of like a bucket. Uh, they would get wet pretty quickly and be garbage. So since we got here, I've been top dressing their feed with minerals, which isn't ideal. We'd like to do them free choice. Traditionally, farmers would set out a block, say a block of salt or a block of minerals for their cows out in the field. But that's been proven that it just doesn't allow the cows to get enough of the minerals that they need which is why loose minerals are becoming so popular now. That's what we're going to be using. We're going to put the bags in this mineral feeder. It's plastic. It's got a cover on top of it, and they say it's bullproof. Durable enough that it could withstand a bull, which is good, because sometimes Luna's a little bullheaded. So we're going to assemble this whenever Austin figures out how. And then we'll set it on the field. We'll fill it up with the minerals. Ladybug was very excited when she saw and smelled the bags of minerals, so I think she'll like being able to have free choice. And maybe now I'll Google how to put this thing together before Austin gets back. Austin does really good in the heat. Super pleasant. No, I just want to get this done, it's hot. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Brazilian or Dalian? All right, I'm gonna poke the hole they should have poked a long time ago. Well, maybe they don't do it for a reason. Maybe they like you to make your own hole. See how that goes? That green part on top. Just enough battery. Uh, there's no green part, by the way. Well, that's a different one. This? Yeah, it's blue. There's a camera. Like when 
like working for a reality TV show. I'm just the camera guy. Your job is capture the drama. Mm -hmm. Even when they're mad. Mm -hmm. Even when they don't want to be filmed. Film. Mm -hmm. Never stop filming. Mm -hmm. Reality. That's what the people want. Reality. So sweaty. <laughs> so sweaty. You hand me those tools or you just the I'm reality just the cameraman. cameraman. <laughs> I, I can't. Strict I can't be compromised. Uh, oh man, are you even kidding me? It sucks to be me right Coat the threads of the bolt with grease yeah, or anti-seize. I have grease. Where? I have lard right in the milk bucket. Sure. Did you read the instructions? Yeah, I did, but we don't have any. Yeah, we do. Lard is not like anti-seize grease. It, they said grease. It's it. it's literally grease. Right there. This? Yeah. Now I won't be able to hold on to anything. <laughs> this should be fun. Do you want me to do you want me to do it? So angry. <laughs> So angry. The viewers get to see what I'm really like. Uh huh. Now that I'm holding the camera. Ah, uh, it's just so hot. It and is I was hot. not signed. Oh, uh, they can see I'm whining. I yeah. gotta edit that out. <laughs> Whiner, come on. I can hear Brian now calling me a snowflake. Oh man, do we do everything for Brian? It's the Brian channel. You didn't know that? <laughs> He's all, all our subscribers. It's just Brian. <laughs> it's just Brian. <laughs> Can't like. Do you want me to help with something? I don't think you can, babe. Not that I'm inept. It's that this can't. No, I just I would help if you want to hold something while you screw. I can't get a tool. But can you let me look up the instructions just to see how people do this? I have to go get more tools. You can do whatever you want in your spare time. I think I'll go to the spa. Sure are. If you happen to buy one of these, they're supposed to be really good feeders. These were recommended to us. Very good reviews. Uh, so we get excellent reviews. It's not hard to put together. I just didn't know I was gonna have to put it together. I didn't have any of the tools and we went out into the hot sun and suddenly I realized I had to put it together. Uh, you're going to need some way to reach up into this cramped little space on the bottom. Let me show you. A regular wrench can't fit in there, it's too small. So you'll need an extender on a socket, and then I'm actually gonna tighten it from above. You wanna catch this. I'm not gonna go crazy with that, cause... Cause it says not to. So can you demonstrate to us how it works? Yeah. All right, it's all ready to go. Um, it was not hard to do. All you're gonna need to make sure you have drill and a drill bit, a large drill bit. I think that's a, that's a half inch drill bit. And I had a little socket with an extender and a three quarter inch bit and also a wrench three quarters. It's not hard to put together. It's put together. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the three spots. We can put three minerals. We can put this out in the pasture. And the whole point is to keep your minerals dry and allow your cows free access to them. So here I am. I'm a cow. I'm feeling a little low on minerals. What voice is that? <laughs> the jello. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Too soon. Just need some minerals. Oh yeah. These are some fantastic minerals. <laughs> My body confirmation is gonna be off the chisots. Body condition. <laughs> I have to make up for my cranky end the beginning of this video. I'd be extra sweaty. Alright. In his defense, I do tease Austin a lot when he's hot and cranky, which is probably not the best idea. But in his defense, it would have taken me probably hours to try to figure out that wrench socket extender thing. I probably would have had to watch a lot of videos and in the end call my dad for help. So he's good to have around Austin. <laughs> Whatever, it's nothing. Reality TV.
cooler out now. We waited to the end of the day to finish this. It was so hot today. But now it's not as hot. <laughs> not as hot. And we can go put our minerals out. Let's go put a mineral feeder out. What happened? Hey, Daddy? Yeah. I'm getting dummy water and now can tell no no water. You're out here to help us, right? Um, I just wanna pay out. Well we need your help. You gotta help us with this. Those are very expensive cow minerals all over the floor. We're not really sure how that happened. The bags were over there and the cows were not in this area. But that's why you want a mineral feeder, so that destruction like that doesn't happen with expensive chem um, minerals. So we're gonna take these minerals and put them in the feeder. as much as she does. Goodness. Muscle girl. <laughs> it's pretty far, huh? Yeah. There you go. You can lift it up? Want a little help? Let's do it together. Okay. Oh, you got your side. Yeah, good job. Let go. <laughs> All right, lift the lid, Daddy, and she can pour it in. where they are. <laughs> Good job. All right, make muscles. Hey, there you go. Yeah. Pretty big muscles. We should be pinning this. Okay, she knows how to work it. She must have had it. You did it. Good job. You're gonna break it if you go anymore. When we do have a time, I would be able to do whatever I want that I was so hard. Oh, I see. All right, a mineral feeder is together, it's staked, it needed some assembly, but uh, not a big deal as long as you know what you're getting into. We'll have a link below for this mineral feeder if you're interested. Buyer beware, some assembly required, and it doesn't come with the stakes you need to stake to the ground. And if you don't stake it to the ground, you'll have a pile of expensive minerals, kind of like we just did in the this guy is calcium phosphorus salt, also dried kelp salt and DE. Here, sweetie, can you open this for me? How come the cow can do it, but I can't. 
I'll have two of these three compartments filled. This is calcium, phosphorus, salt, magnesium, potassium, selenium, vitamin A, and a ton of other good things. Uh, vitamin B12, peppermint, calendula, cayenne pepper, ginger, coconut oil. And there's also uh, like good bacteria in there. So good stuff. And when they need it, they'll be able to eat it themselves now. You can build a mineral feeder and that's a good option. This is recommended to me by our breeders. It's bullproof, so it's going to stand up to anything the cows can do to it. Also, it's plastic and rubber, so it's going to be easy to disinfect if we ever have an issue that we really need to get everything clean around here. So if you're having a cow that maybe doesn't look to be in great condition, even though you see their body condition score is a healthy score, it could be that they're not getting the minerals they need because our minerals are depleted all around the country. We're kind of depleted of different things. So it'd be good to talk to your, your extension office or a local vet who deals with cows in the area to see what people are dealing with as far as mineral deficiencies. And then you'll know what to supplement with. Normally, the cow will get the minerals they need from the plants, but if your soil is depleted of a certain mineral, they won't be able to get that from the plant. Even there have been selenium deficiencies or something like that in an area where there's not that in the pasture, but because during the winter time, people are bringing in hay from areas where there is a known selenium deficiency, the cows will be deficient in that. Hey, mommy. The hay they're eating doesn't have it. Hey, mine. Did you just feed lady? Yeah. She was happy. Maybe that, that, when I, ooh, I'm gonna eat. Mmm, salad. You can say normally, or you did. What are you doing? <laughs> it's hard to do one handed. In tomorrow's episode of Home Study, learn the story of how we went from being fast food junkies. Up until that point, we were kind of like Taco Bell junkies, you know, eating fast food a bunch. To eating all organic meat without even owning a farm. And that's where this came in. The bow and arrow. And learn about how you can use a bow and arrow to fill your family's freezer with the best quality meat you can find. Those three points all lined up mean I'm shooting the same spot every time. Tune in tomorrow, five o'clock Eastern time. If you see people shooting a bow just for fun and their hands way out here, and then it's over here and it's moving all over the place, they never know where they're gonna wind up down range. You need to make sure your hand is firmly in an anchor point. Do you enjoy these videos? Do you think they're worth a quarter? For just a quarter per episode, you can help us keep the show going and gain access to bonus classes, discounts, and a members-only forum. Become a Homesteady Pioneer. Learn more by clicking on that chicken. Yeah.